Hi everybody, welcome back to Warwickshire Outdoors. I know it's been a long time, uh, autumn is in the air, it's uh, late September, it's October next week. Uh, it's brilliant, I love coming out in autumn. Um, I, well, I haven't caught up with you for quite a while, I'll let you know uh, why that is, but come and join me. See you soon. Well guys, welcome to Warwickshire Outdoors. Um, I'm hoping to get out and about a bit more. I'm very intermittent <clears throat> with my uploading of films and I do apologise about that. I just do it as and when I can. Um, it's been a really busy year for me. Uh, I'm sure I've told you before that I changed careers two years ago. Uh, I'm teaching now and I've had to do a big, uh, a big qualification which I've just finished. Uh, uh, a lot of academic work which I've had to do so that's all done in and I had to do my last piece of work uh, on Thursday so hopefully that's all done and dusted and I'll have more weekends to catch up and uh, be able to do what I actually want to do so uh, anyways thank you very much for joining me there's a couple of things that I took part in over the last couple of years which I've really enjoyed um, so I just want to tell you about about two of them two of the things that I've done uh, just in case you're umming and ahhing thinking about it I'm not saying you should do it I'm just saying that I did it I enjoyed them and uh, I'll tell you what I, uh, what I did enjoy about them anyway. Anyway, I'm going to get a drink on. I bought my TBS bottle and uh, mug set up today. Um, holds a litre of water. Uh, brilliant. I just love this. I really do. Sometimes I use the British Army water bottle. Today I'm using this. Can't recommend it highly enough. It does come with a lid, of course. I'm also using an old favourite of mine, the BCB, British Army stove, an old favourite of mine. I get this out on occasion for old time's sake. I absolutely love it. Water's on. In case you're wondering what I bought out today, I bought my uh, custom folding knife out with me today. Which fits really nicely in this TBS folding knife sheath. Well guys, two things uh, that I've done. Uh, one thing I did last year was uh, did the weekend with Ray Mears 
uh, which was organised through Woodland Ways. Um, you'll see it advertised maybe um, soon. It was last October actually. It was at Stanford Hall, which is where they do the bushcraft show each year at the moment. Um, and I have to say guys, I can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, it was brilliant. Um, I'll tell you now, it was £240. Okay, A lot of money in anybody's uh, bank. But what you got from that, I thought, was pretty amazing. Uh, it was a whole weekend, uh, early start. It started Friday, you could get the Friday afternoon, I believe, if I remember rightly, I can't remember now. Uh, and it didn't finish till late on the Sunday. Um, and, and that price included um, sessions with Ray on the Saturday and the Sunday. I'll upload some photographs of that um, as, I'm, as, as I'm chatting. Um, it was absolutely brilliant. You had a session on fire. Uh, making he had a session on cooking on the open fire um how to make um uh, how to skewer a, a large piece of salmon uh cooking making coffee on the open fire um you did a walk with ray around the woods another session that was a long session where he would just walk around the woods and pick out things uh, he stopped at one point and made um a, a fishing line out of a hawthorn i think it's a hawthorn um, thorn <laughs> and um, some nettle uh, nettle fibres I believe it was he made some, some cordage out of nettles I think it was if I remember rightly um, it was absolutely brilliant he was riveting, he could get up really close ask him questions, it was brilliant I think there was two sessions on the Saturday and one on the Sunday or two both times I can't remember now, it's a year ago but it was brilliant but not only that you get all your food provided for the whole weekend so you get a full cooked breakfast every day you get lunch which was was cooked up i remember right like pasta or jacket potatoes or whatever it might be it might be uh, and then you get a full evening meal uh, on the saturday it was quite a full-on day um you got up in the morning had a full cooked breakfast which was cooked for us by the uh, the team who were organizing the event woodland Mice, uh, team and then um, you had two sessions that day, you split up into small teams and there was no more than I think perhaps about 15 of us, 10 of us, I, I don't know, I didn't count, maybe more, uh, who went out and spent a good while with Ray. Uh, the first session was, was, as I say, was fire lighting, where he goes through several different types of um, ways of, uh, of getting a fire done, which was really brilliant. Um, and But if you're not with Ray there are free sessions that Woodland Ways put on throughout the whole weekend there is everything from uh, wildlife recognition tracking um, there's some small competitions you can do basket weaving carving uh, and they are all free and they're all included in the price uh, on Saturday night, there's entertainment. There's a band in the courtyard of Stamford Hall. There's a big communal, communal fire. Yeah, uh, we had curries cooked for us by Gurkhas. Gurkha curry made for us on the Saturday night. And then on the Sunday, another full day on Sunday. Uh, we, uh, again, and I thought for the price, considering it included all the camping, I ended up, I, I went in the, in the camper van, stayed in the camper van. It included the camping all the courses all the sessions with ray all the food um i thought it was brilliant absolutely brilliant um whether you're a seasoned outdoors person or or, or bushcrafter or you want to whatever one you call yourself or somebody who's just starting out beginning it's particularly great if you could take a kid with you i was going to take my son but I, I didn't in the end he was he was busy doing something else but um that obviously makes it more expensive um, but for me, it was brilliant. I made a, a, a met up, got friendly with a couple of people there, which which um, really helped the weekend. There was a bar there. Um, we could get beer in the evenings and stuff, and it was just brilliant. Or you could just go and keep yourself to yourself and, and sit by your your camp and have your own little uh, campfire. But yeah, it was brilliant. Absolutely, I can't recommend that highly enough. Um, we were really lucky last year, October, because it was. It was one of those Octobers where you uh, had some really nice sunny weekends and that was fantastic.
So that, guys, is my appraisal of the weekend in the woods with Ray Mears. Uh, if you're rumming and ahhing about it, I believe it's taking place again this year, I think, next month in October. If you have a manand about it, I, I, I recommend just taking the plunge and doing it. Uh, it's brilliant. I, I, I didn't regret it. I can't speak highly enough of it. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description and I'll, it, I'm sure there's a, a film somewhere on YouTube with Ray doing the nettle cordage and uh, doing the, um, the, the, the fish hook out of Hawthorne. If I can find that, I'll put a link to it in the description. Now, another thing which I can highly recommend, which I did, which I joined up for, whew, I think it was possibly during COVID or just after, um, and that was one of the pushes for me to do it, really, was the uh, Frontier Bushcraft online elementary course, which Paul Kirtley uh, uh, does. Now, Ray Mears, Paul Kirtley, you can't go wrong. Uh, I, I, you know, <laughs> if you want to get advice which you can trust, who else do you want to go to? Anybody who, who watches outdoor uh, stuff on YouTube particularly, uh, and on social media, I've, I hope you, you've come across Paul. Uh, I can thoroughly, thoroughly recommend his stuff. Um, he came up with the concept of doing an online bushcraft elementary course. Now, some people say, why, how can you do it online? But I have to say, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I was able to pay it in monthly instalments, and all the resources you get um, are there forever on your phone, you can access them. Um, it covers everything from fire, my, uh, fire lighting, fire management, uh, camping out equipment, how to use a knife, knife sharpening, um, shelter building, uh, making water safe to drink, um, some tree recognition, how to make cordage, um, I, I, it, there are so much resources on there and so much information on there that I don't even know where to begin. Uh, I'm not going to be sharing any of that on, uh, obviously, on, on the camera, but um, you know, it, I can access it any time I want to. Uh, there are videos on there which you can watch again and again and again until you're comfortable to go out and, and, and try it yourself. Uh, there are means where you can send Paul Kirtley messages saying, Paul, I've had a go at this. Um, you know, can you recommend why I'm going wrong, whatever, and he'll get back to you. Um, I, I can't recommend the Paul Kirtley Frontier Bushcraft elementary online course again highly enough um, it allowed me to dip into these resources um, and I guess even if you've, you've gone and done a, a residential course and you've gone away for a few days and done it the fact that you've got these resources at your fingertips anytime you need them from, from Paul and if you know whether wherever it might be making feather sticks for example you can watch the video again and again and again and try it again and again and again making uh, making a bow drill set using bow drill using flint and steel um, it, it, you know making water safe to drink as I said finding the water sources camping out in winter uh, it, it, it just encompasses everything you'd want to know uh, in a really comprehensive way. Now, if you've done anything with Paul before or watched anything online with him, uh, you'll be aware that he does. He goes into a lot of detail, a lot of really good, understandable detail. Uh, the thing with uh, both Paul and Ray, they're brilliant teachers. Uh, I teach for a living and they teach really well. Um, when I was away for the weekend with, with Ray Mears, he, he captivated you. He drew you in and you just wanted to listen to what he had to say. It's the same with Paul. He comes across as very knowledgeable, which of course he is. He used to be uh, Ray's, Ray Mears' chief instructor, worked, worked with Ray Mears for years. If you want to go to reliable sources to learn stuff, okay, don't come to me. I'm not a, a, a bushcraft teacher or instructor. I'm somebody that likes to come out. It's a hobby for me. It's a hobby that I like to do. I, I can have a go at stuff and I can tell you how I found it. I can buy stuff and I can tell you if I like it. 
I'm not recommending anything to you particularly and I'm not saying this is how you should do certain things it's how I've done certain things and it's what I found worked for me but if you want reliable sources don't watch my videos <laughs> watch Ray's and watch Paul's I can't recommend them high enough uh, highly enough uh, uh, as I can say uh, and um, that's all I can say but the elementary online bushcraft course uh, really brilliant the amount of resources you get at your fingertips anytime you want them absolutely fantastic and I've been able to share some of those films with my son said son you know watch this this is how you do it this is how you feather stick this is how you use a bow drill or whatever which has been brilliant um, and you know uh, the, the, the weekend away with the raid that's two things I can highly recommend uh, which I'm sure you would really really enjoy so guys i'm gonna pack up short and sweet i'm gonna be out again in the next couple of weeks because i love coming out in november uh where i might probably stay out uh, uh, and uh, cook a meal and uh, get have a small fire going so i hope you can join me for that and as i say i'm hoping to post a little bit more now now all my study is finally finished yes uh, at my age, why am I doing it to myself? Never mind, keeps your brain active, I guess. But thanks very much for joining me, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I thought I'd just show you my gloves. Guys, you can buy some really expensive um, gloves. I've seen, I've seen leather gloves, you know, extortionate prices, 80, 90, 60 quid or whatever. Um, these are gardening gloves from a local gardening center. They're really thick, they're lined. They cost me like 10 pound or something. Um, I've had them years. They're really thick, tough, um, as I say, lined for the, great for the winter um i can't recommend these highly enough well they're done by kent and stowe i literally got them from a local gardening center they've been brilliant you don't have to spend extortionate money One thing I did mean to say, if you can hear a lot of noise going on in the background, there's a, I think it's a scouting event going on in the field, which is close to this part in the woods, uh, which is brilliant. It's better than the sound of traffic, isn't it? Hearing kids enjoy themselves in the, out, in the great outdoors, it's brilliant. Anyway, once again, thanks for joining us and see you soon. Bye.